In other news tonight, 2019 was a rough year for Metro Transit as they dealt with a jump in violent crime on the light rail. According to Metro Transit, for the first 10 months of last year, the five shared blue and green line stops in downtown Minneapolis saw violent crime jump 10% from the same time frame in 2018. But now state Democrats believe they have an idea to help bring those numbers down while addressing fair evaders. Heidi Wigdahl is here with a look at the plan and the main focus is increasing safety. Heidi. Yeah, that's right, Julie. Under the proposal, it would create a transit ambassador program. Also, for those caught riding public transit without paying, it would reduce the penalty from a misdemeanor to a petty misdemeanor across the state. There's no question that we've learned around the country that we need to do a better job in enforcing uh, non-payment of fares. We believe that we have to have an effective and fair transit system. Representative Brad Tapke, a Democrat from Shakopee, is proposing a bill to decriminalize fare evasion statewide. Metro Transit currently issues a warning the first time a rider doesn't pay, the second time it's $180. Less than 3% of fare evasion citations are actually collected. It puts a huge burden on the judicial system, and so there's a huge cost of uh, trying to collect these fares. So this uh, is a misdemeanor, and it's on par with a DUI or with a $500 uh, property theft or assault, and uh, we don't think that that is correct. The bill would make it a petty misdemeanor similar to a parking ticket with a $35 fine. Republican Representative John Kosnick says it's a starting point. We just got to do something different than simply, you know, decriminalizing it is not the way to go. We want more enforcement, but we also want to um, have some more consequences for those that are repeat offenders. Under the proposal, money from the fines would support a transit ambassadors program. Unarmed ambassadors would appear on light rail and bus rapid transit lines in the Twin Cities metro. They will be checking fares, they will be connecting people with services, they will be trained in uh, de-escalation so that we can help with uh, safety issues as they come up. Other cities have similar programs, including the San Francisco area. They have had an increase in um, uh, fare collections as well as a drop in crime. In St. Paul, we're talking a lot about the concept of community first public safety. So how do we make investments in our community in addition to and beyond traditional policing and law enforcement that actually reduce crime. There are still some questions like how many ambassadors would be involved and how much would it cost. Representative Tapke expects to have a better idea before a hearing on the bill next week. Julie.